You know, the one thing that you can't do, you can't drop your love for art. There are a lot of artists around the world right now that would just love to become a part of your life and style. Highendpottery.com. That's H I dash in pottery.com. They're sponsoring this show. They sponsor my entire podcast. They're taking the time to recognize the art that we do every day, and it's time that we recognize their art. Elevate your experience with art. All high end products are one of a kind functional art pieces. I have been inside their studios, I've watched their art come to life. To find out more, visit highinpottery.com, H-I hyphen inpottery.com, and tell them that, that Arrow sent you, and the reason why is because they're, they're going to take care of the shipping and handling, highinpottery.com. Hey, it's Arrow, and this is Play It Forward, a look at the unexpected changes endured by the entertainers, writers, camera people, and all others affected, but not infected by the global invasion of the coronavirus. These are real people. Real Stories, The Struggle to Play It Forward, episode number 80. Mr. Bootsy Collins has dropped his latest single, Stars. It's an all-star collaboration with American philosopher Dr. Cornell West, drummer Steve Jordan, banjo legend Bella Fleck, and featuring Emmy Sunshine and Elvito Ruiz. All the proceeds from the downloads and streams are going to benefit Music Care's COVID-19 relief fund. Bootsy has partnered with BMI and the Recording Academy for this single release to help benefit artists in need. We are unplugged and totally uncut with the legendary Bootsy Collins. Hey, how you doing, man? How, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good to be here with you. Well, it's a day of victory for you, sir, because this song, Stars, this is a collection of stars that are coming together to have one of the most powerful messages I've heard in a very long time. Oh, wow. Thank you. Well, thanks also to um, Emmy Sunshine. She was 15 years old when we first met, and we haven't met in, in person yet. Uh, we were supposed to. Um, she was coming up to Cincinnati, Ohio, um, at the, to the Cincinnati uh, Reds Parade, and we were going to be in a parade together. So that was our big deal before the pandemic hit. The pandemic hit, and it changed everything. It was like everything got canceled, um, and it it, it uh, made me, you know, rearrange or rethink how we could get together and do this song uh, called Stars. And, um, and so we started to talk and um, send back and forth. I sent her the track, and we was talking about the concept and this, that, and the other, and... I had no idea that she could write uh, <laughs> lyrics like she she wrote. And when I got it back, I was like, "Wow, we we can really take this somewhere, you know? Uh, and not just somewhere, we can take this to the world because the world is at a point now that everybody sees that we need to be together. We need to be talking to each other." And this song just kind of fit that whole thing. And it was like, um, I was shocked in a good way. And it just made me feel good. So, I, you know, it made Emmy feel good. It made everybody that feel good that worked on it. And it was like, wow, you know, maybe we need to get this out. And then we need, had to have a cause. The cause was Music Cares. Um, you know, they, um, they had been taking care of uh, our musician friends and buddies for years, you know, and musicians, they don't get the love that, you know, um, you would think they should get because music is the thing that kind of helps bring us out of these pandemics and tragedies and earthquakes and storms, you know, where do you go? You go straight to the music, you know, to try to get over it. You know, so Music Cares, they help musicians. Um, musicians with losing gigs, you know, uh, festivals is canceled. I mean, clubs, I mean, everything. And so um, we did this song to to help uh, replenish, um, uh, you know, the, the money that they are giving out. And they do it often. They do it all the time. And so, uh, I, you know, I just needed a... Uh, uh, I guess a purpose, a bigger purpose than myself, than just to have an album, you know. Um, and this, this is the bigger purpose, and this, this is what we all have to look at. You know, we got bigger, per a bigger person than just ourselves now. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I love the way that you incorporate so many cultures and languages because you really do, Bootsy, really bring the world into this song. So it's not so, you know, it's not like one genre of music. You you incorporate every genre. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that was definitely the intent. I have always wanted to do that and I have always tried to do it in some form, but you always had people over you saying uh, you can't do that. You know, ain't nobody <laughs> going to understand that. Well, at this point, it's like, I didn't even care if nobody understood, understood it. It's like, it's like, this is what we need to do. I mean, you know, it's not a traditional thing. You know, it's not traditional music, you know, and I know all of that. But, you know, this is something that can be done. It's the same thing with what's going on with us as people now you know it's not it's not a traditional thing that we all get along but it can be done you know this is this is our the earth is our mothership you know we're flying around in space on the earth you know and you know we're all on it you know so we might as well get used to the fact that you know we all we need each other to plant the seeds, to dig the seeds, to cultivate the seeds, and and get it together and keep growing. I love the way that you bring in power to the people. You don't do it in a way of shouting it. It's it's almost like you're speaking directly into my soul. Yeah, yeah. That's that's wow. That's amazing. I'm, I, you know, that's the first time I heard that, um, and that's amazing to me because that's what I was intending on doing it it's not a shout it's not like a a, a threat it's it's not none of it. it's actually love you know it's like yeah it's power to the people and we all are the people you know and that to me is the beauty of the whole thing uh if we can ever get over that um, I, I call it the p level once we get beyond the p level we good we can start to see you know we get our head up out of the the sheep, you know, we can start to see that everything is good. It's all good. Yeah. How did you get Dr. Cornell involved? Because he puts in a, a very classic touch to it that, that, that when you go back and you watch that video, you will never forget his image on that video. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have been friends for a number of years, um, and we worked on an a, a album back in 2011. So he was always in the back of my mind. Um, to do something and it just happened to be this song came up and he was the first you know it was like the first thing I, I thought of because my friend Chufu who's out of New York he um, he had sent me a, uh, a track that he was doing for the album and he, he had sampled uh, a couple of uh, Dr. West statements and I said, oh, man, this, is, this would be so cool on the Stars track. And he agreed. And so, you know, um, we extended what, what uh, Dr. West was saying. I got in touch with him, and I, I asked him could he do it. And, you know, he was, like, you know, thrilled. And the next thing you know, you know, we had to do it all um, by phone and email. But that's the way we had to do it, you know, because of the pandemic. And um, and we did it. We got it done. It, it was a shocker to me because of, just because of the way we had to do it. So now when you were in the studio and the lyrics started coming to life, a better way to take courage to another day. I would have bawled my eyes out. Did you keep it together? <laughs> yeah. In a, in, a, in my bootsy kind of way, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, how can you keep it together, man? That's, you know, that's, I mean, it's, and for me, you know, it's like, like I was saying, this, this young, she was 15 years old, okay, and she was acting like a Janis Joplin, you know. Um, you know, the, the hippie child, you know, and she was coming up with these these lyrics and, you know, it's stuff you wouldn't imagine coming out of, out of a youngster, you know. And and not only, um, you know, the lyrics, she, you know, she felt what she was saying. You know, you could tell that in the song, you know. Um, and so all of that is bigger than us as individuals and 
to me, when you put them all together, the, the song shows you when you put it all together, then it starts to make sense. It, and then it lets you know it can be done. Well, congratulations on stars. This really is a moment of equal love, which means we can all grow in peace. This really is one of those pieces of music. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. That means so much. I mean, Emmy, Emmy is going to, oh, man, she's going to love it. She's going to love it. Yeah. And it'll be on the album as well. Please come back to the show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you, Bootsy. Oh, thank you so much. All right. And be safe, too. You, you be brilliant today. Oh, definitely. I'm, I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. That's Play It Forward. You can hear other conversations just like this on three different platforms. Like It's Live, Unplugged and Totally Uncut, and View from the Writing Instrument, all found on every digital platform.